What's up guys, it's your boy Quincy Megas and I'm back with another YouTube video and in this one I'm gonna talk about five things that I don't necessarily like about being in and living in Korea. So let's just jump straight into it with number one. The first thing that I don't necessarily like about living in Korea is that a lot of the time people stare. Like, I'm not sure if it's just me, if I'm the only one who experiences this, but I'm really sure that I'm not. Um, but yeah, I think because of a combination of my skin color and my hair and the fact that I'm always doing random things like walking around with this camera, vlogging and recording stuff, people stare a lot. Another way that's really random that people stare is at like, shopping and stuff that you buy like I wouldn't experience this back home but like here in Korea every time I'm coming back from the grocery store and I'm like carrying my groceries like literally like people on the street will be like and I'll be like what it's just groceries dude the second thing that I don't like about Korea uh, is that it's really really cold in winter it is freezing now, being originally from South Africa, I just, I can't. I cannot with Korean winter and the snow and the ice. And it's just like, oh my God, I'm dying. <sighs> Number three is actually something I spoke about in my previous video, being black in Korea. And number three is the fact that it's really hard sometimes, well not sometimes, it's really hard most of the time to find hair care products for your hair. Um, if you're black and especially if you have natural hair and you have some sort of natural hairstyle like cornrows or your hair is just like uh, in a blowout or something, it's difficult to find hair care products. So like I said in that previous video, check it out if you're interested in that, but bring your own import, order online, ask family and friends to send you some. That's how you go survive. Let's move on to number four. Four, four, number four. The fourth thing that I don't necessarily like about living in Korea is the fact that most people live in apartments and really love apartments. Um, you know, so back home, a lot of people live in houses and I grew up in a house where we had like a front yard and a backyard and the reason I like that is because sometimes you want to go outside but you don't necessarily want to be in public so you don't want to go to like a park. You just want to be outside and maybe play with your dogs but not have to like, you know, like see other people. <laughs> that sounds bad but... You guys know what I mean. You don't, you don't wanna, yeah, you don't wanna have to deal with other people. Every time I tell people that I would live or that I lived in a house back home, people are like, oh, why would you do that? And I'm like, because it's awesome. The fifth, look at my hand. The fifth and final thing is differentiation, which is our word of the day today, differentiation. What do I mean by that? Um, you know, trends are really, really popular here in Korea. So if you see a certain hairstyle that's popular or a certain clothing item that's really, really popular in just a short amount of time, so many people will have that hairstyle and they'll be dressing in that, you know, exact same way and they'll want that exact item of clothing. And I'm just like, Got it. It's with a lot of other things as well, where if something is popular, it's like, no, 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 no. This is popular, so everything is gonna go based off of this trend and this thing being popular. But those are the five things that I don't necessarily like about living in Korea. Again, these are just my opinions. Obviously, you know, every place has its pros and cons. I love Korea too. These are just five things that I would change if I had if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, drop a comment below, and ask me if there's anything else that you'd like to know about Korea. But until the next video, I will see you in the next one.